Okay, hello. We are here to play a game by the name of Night Shift. Uh, I don't know anything about this game other than apparently maybe we're playing, uh, maybe we're working the Night Shift. So, um, let's get right into it and just, you know, see what happens on this Night Shift. Oh, I hate this job. Every night feels never ending and I swear everyone in this town wants to talk my ear off. All I have to entertain myself is my phone and the voice inside my head. What? I can't believe Becky made me take over working night for her. But she makes the schedule, so what the heck can I do about it? Plus, there are no other jobs in this crap old town, so whatever. My dad's the only reason I have this job, but he picked Becky over me to run the place. Ugh. I'm so tired. I can barely remember my name. What is it again? What? What is going on? Is this like an after death kind of like thing? What's my name? Oh. Sorry. Is I correct? Yes, it is. Is it correct? Is it? Is this like an unreliable narrative? I don't know. Let's keep going. <laughs> oh yeah, that's right. I'm sorry. Yeah, I kind of forgot about that. Oh. <laughs> Sai, your parents must really have had it out for you, naming you something like Sai. What the heck was that? I think I see a customer coming. I'm awake and not crying, so I guess it sh could be worse. I seem to have misplaced something around here. Can you check the lost and found? You shuffle through the lost and found, find a deck of tarot cards. And hold it out to the woman. Uh, I think that's mine. She quickly snatches the deck from your hand. Okay, ma'am. She drops three cards on the counter. The hangman. You only think about you every time you've been asked to cover a shift you're busy. Do you think Becky hasn't noticed? You have thrown away your chance at enlightenment and wallow in the swamp that is your life. You pick up the tarot card and tuck it into your pocket. Ugh, th that was alarming, whatever. Another day, another fortune, I suppose. What is going on? Oh, look, they were just imagining all that makes sense. Okay, we're, we're not all there, it appears. This woman is just like, what the heck? Are you seem troubled, child. I, I am very troubled. Can you help me, ma'am? Can you? Okay, thanks, I guess. You okay? I'm not okay. I'm not. I'm really not. Never mind. I don't have time to deal with this right now. Have a good night. Okay, well... <laughs> Thanks, I guess. I could have used your company. Do you want to see your feature? Ah, uh, no, I don't. Stop talking to me. Too bad. Day after day, night after night, in this store. Your old grain is still glued to that cash register. Becky is still your boss, and she still won't let you change the radio station all 90s rock all day forever, baby. <laughs> wow. Jeff still comes in daily with the same request. Hey, I got um 20 on the pump and 3 and a pack of cowboy killers, if you don't mind. Every day you feel the weight of your wasted potential crushing you slowly. You see your old classmates jetting off to college, their new jobs of starting families to doom their insane spawn to another generation of suffering in this crap old town. The voice in your head keeps you entertained, but less so these days. Becky taught you that trick. Uh, what is it? 1865? <laughs> oh, military time. Cool, cool. Oh, okay. Um, do you have beans here? Oh, and a can opener for the beans. A live chicken. Uh, um, like a thousand rubber bands. What are you talking about, sir? You're shady. Police? There are some beans in the back of the store. I have like five rubber bands. We have chicken tuna. That's like the chicken of the sea, right? <laughs> well, I go try to find some of the supplies I need. Thanks. Oh, could I trouble you for the key to the bathroom? Sure, bro. Go use the restroom. Wonderful, thanks. Go take care of business, my guy. The man scuttles off to the bathroom. 
You hear clinking and clattering coming from the bathroom. Investigate. Leave the man be. Let him take care of business. What you do in there is none of my concern. Um, do you, bro? You can handle all your business by your lonesome. Thanks, I found the beans. In the bathroom? Are you good? I heard a lot of commotion. That's 99 cents, sir. I don't need to know what you did in there. 99 cents, sir. Okay, bye. Whatever. Oh, okay. This energy is all crazy. Sometimes a customer will ask, are you all right? Seems you drifted off to for a second when the voice starts chatting away. You always answer, living the dream. You grow old, frail, and eventually wear away in this very store. It turns out a lifetime of gas station burgers isn't too kind on the old archer. Did you think you'll work here your entire life? No, this is just a summer gig. I'm moving to the city in September. It was full crap. I'm out of here as soon as I strap together some cash. I think I knew I'll be stuck in this town forever in my heart of hearts. No, I'm leaving this place! My eyes, rub your eyes, smack your head, shake your head, rub your eyes. Okay, we're not crazy yet. We can come back from this, okay? Sai, I'm saving you. We are getting out of this, okay? You're gonna come out on top. Why not just pluck you? Wow, wow, that's kind of, that's, that's a little graphic. I'm, I'm not really into that, sir. How does it feel being stuck in here all day? I mean, I gotta be here, I guess. Could be worse. I can't say that. I mean, it could be worse. We have a painting job, you know? Do you ever just want to take a knife to it? No, um, maybe a touch. Sure, what? No! Meow. I can't jump up to the counter. When you here the whole time, have you been talking to me the whole time? Whoa, the heck? Were you here the whole time? The cat jumps down to your feet and rubs against your leg. But where did it come from? Investigate. I don't need to know. Honestly? Um, sometimes you just don't need to know. Sometimes ignorance is blessed. I'm just saying. Are you tired? I see your eyelids fighting gravity. How does it make you feel knowing Becky sets the schedule? I don't think about Becky too much. Well, she controls everything. Nothing I do matters. I'm Becky. No. Don't think about Becky, okay? Leave me alone. Stop it. <laughs> no. Keep lying to yourself. I dare you. Let me lie to myself. A pack of Paul Mall menthols, thanks. She must remember you from school, right? At least that's one time. No way Kelly knows you is this. Yes, I right? You're that fire kid. <laughs> what did we do? Arson? No. No, we didn't. You burned down. Wow, maybe. Maybe so. <laughs> maybe we are. <laughs> You burned down the bleachers at the old abandoned middle school. At first, everyone thought it was arson, but they caught you on that security camera playing with follow rockets all by yourself. Kind of sad, really. Wow. <laughs> why are you bringing it up? Love, like, why? Why were you alone? I didn't have friends. Do you have any friends? I don't. I guess I just have one. <laughs> I worry too much to have friends. Yeah, that it is. I guess I just have one. We're not talking about the voice in our hand arm. Oh, you're talking about me, aren't you? You think I'm your friend? That's so sad. Oh, wow. I'm sorry. I don't know. Remember, you're weird. What? But you work for Becky, right? Yeah, Becky sets the schedule. Becky is why I'm stuck working nights. I am Becky. No, I'm not. I'm not Becky. Becky works for me. I'm the president of the situation of the institution. No, you know, be honest. Mm, seems like she's a good leader. You think she might share nights when scheduling if she cared at all about anyone else? Anyway, so I'm going to be real with you. I do not like Becky, okay? What do you think of her? I mean, you work with her. You must have an opinion. Why are you... I am Becky. Becky is my only friend. I hate Becky. Bro, Becky, my ex, I'm not gonna put Becky down. I don't hate Becky. I'm not Becky. You know, Becky is kind of like, let's just, let's just say Becky is my friend. Uh, okay, I guess you're as weird as Becky you said you were. Wow, Becky been talking behind my back? That's crazy. But we can't really trust her though, because she's already trying to get some info on Becky. So I don't know. I'm gonna, I'm gonna put my faith in Becky. See, Becky doesn't even care about you. Be quiet, okay? Just stop. Stop it. <laughs> Becky doesn't care about anyone. Let's be honest here. Becky only cares about Becky. Oh, yeah. K 
Can you believe she was trying to talk crap about you to you? What do you mean? You are Becky, you are... What? Am I Becky? Whoa, wait! That's why they asked that my real name. I am Becky? Am I Becky? I am Becky. Wait, am I? I thought I was Sai. No, you are Becky. We are Becky. Wait, who are you? I am you, you are Becky. We are controlling Sai, and the glow of this monitor is hurting your eyes. What? Can I have the key to the bathroom? Uh, of course. What's the deal with this guy? He just used the bathroom. What is he doing here? He's building a time machine, probably stealing toilet paper. I think he's trying to burn the store down. I think he probably just is taking some toilet paper home. You know, it's pandemic. It's hard times. I mean, you know. You can't let him get away with that. Thank you. She's watching you, judging you, always judging you. You literally cannot do anything right, can you? Uh, so can I have the key? No. This is not... Swallow the key? Uh, look over there. He turned. He threw the key. Sorry, man. I can't find it. <laughs> I saw that. What is he supposed to do? Crap himself? Becky. Oh, Becky. This is Becky. Becky quickly walks to the back of the store, picks up the key, and walks back towards the checkout. That's it. I'm going to the speedy trip across the intersection from now on. They got better TP there anyway. I'm sick of this simple... Oh, oh wow. Bro, you talking crap? Get out of here. Uh, what the heck was that? Pull it together. If I give you one more bad review of this place, your dad is going to dox my pay. You know he's an a-hole, right? But you think you know me because you know him, don't you? You don't know me. At least you don't have to live with him. I know. Trust me, I know. <laughs> hey, Sai. Look, now I work for him. I know what he's like when he's angry. I just... Are you okay? What the heck? Did you take my credit card? No, I have the hangman. The cre the car their car you gave me. What? No. Why would I do that? Are you trying to make me look bad in front of Becky? Let me see it. Okay. That's my card. Give it back. What is wrong with you? What the heck, Sai? Give her her card back. I'm sorry, ma'am. I don't know what is up with them. I'll deal with it. What kind of operation are you running here? I better f not find any unexpected charges on my card. I think I frequent the speedy trip from now on. Bro, oh, where are you? Honestly. Maybe we should just leave. Um. We need. There's definitely something not right. This is, um. I don't know. There's something shifty. I. I my right mind, Becky, honestly. Can you help me, Becky? Becky, I didn't say anything bad about you to this chick. I don't even know her. She just came in here talking freaking crap, Becky. I don't know her. <laughs> Whoa! Just right off the bat. Dang, girl. Why? Becky crosses her arm. Yeah, Becky. Stand up for yourself. Excuse me? I hope they fight. I hope so, too. Why are you so invested in this exactly? You think you're so perfect, don't you? You play the cool girl, the nothing can bother you girl. You act like you don't care to be in the pick me girl. But it's all an act to get all of the things you claim you don't want. My boyfriend thinks he's in love with you. Oh, wow. <laughs> Dang, it sucks to be you. <laughs> Dang. Uh, my boyfriend thinks he's in love with you. I'm losing my everything. You convinced this poor sap sap dad to promote you to manager over them. And what have you ever had to overcome? Sai, Becky treats you like crap too, right? Yeah, they always make me do this crap work. No, they're my manager, but they're not who you're making them out to be. I am Becky. No, okay, we're not crazy, okay? We're staying sane. Sai is going to freaking make it through it, okay? Thanks, Sai. And you don't like me because of Dennis? I have no interest in him. Seriously? I don't think about Dennis. Don't you know I'm gay? Oh, wow. Hey, Becky. I have no interest in him. But you... Uh, you're... <laughs> she can't even have a comeback to that. Get out of here. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Don't let the door hit your way out. What was that? I, I need air. Oh, Becky. Don't let her upset you. Like, she's crap, okay? Well, you really done it now. You dug your own grave and now there's no going back. Enough, you talk to me like I've had a choice. I never had a choice. Well, what have I done? What have you done? I'm sorry, I never meant to. 
I'm not talking to you, son. I'm talking to the one behind the screen. What? I did nothing. I'm trying to help. Um, what are you talking about? Yes, you. Have you ever made a video game? No. Also, you aren't a sad sad making mediocre games on a platform almost no one knows exists. Well, I guess that makes you, well, that makes you a really good friend. Does that make you feel good, supporting your friend's silly little game? It doesn't matter what you say. It doesn't matter what you do. It doesn't matter how you feel. It doesn't matter what you say, you know? It just... I'm like, what am I supposed to say? It really is rather enabling, isn't it? I mean, look at that. Poor trio of sad, sleep-deprived weirdos. Is it a fun little summer activity between paths, or are they just desperate to escape the meaninglessness of their own lives? <clears throat> Choices, dreams, and desires. So desperate, in fact, that they channel all that energy into a game and make you play it. <laughs> it really is quite cruel. So why make a game at all? Maybe they thought they could become something on their skills, make something that would matter one day, but we all know Microsoft <laughs> won't let that happen. Or maybe they thought gamifying the sorry state of existence would make it easier to exist, but the only way it gets easier is if you win. To win, your choices have to matter. Too bad you have no choices, but maybe you could if you made a good schedule. Because nothing matters. Have you ever thought about burning it all down? Consider it. Consider burning it all down with Becky inside. Wow. That got dark. No, we're not killing Becky. I refuse. And there, there will only be one of us. There will only be one Becky. I'm not Becky. You know what you need to do. She's coming. I'm not killing her. No. I'm not killing her. No, we're not doing that. I refuse. Becky, you're making it out of here. You find yourself behind the counter holding a gas can dripping sweat with a zippo in your hand. What do you think you're doing, Sai? I've been gone for like five minutes. Do you hear them? Do you hear them too, Becky? The voices in your head. What do you mean? I'm working the camera shot. I'm trying to end this. Bro, uh, honestly, Becky, I need your help. I, I'm hearing voices in my head and I, I honestly don't know what to do about them. Becky, help me, Becky. I... I, well, not in my head, but since I started this job, the rest of the world has gotten louder. Bad things keep happening, and it feels like I can't do anything to stop it. I just want to sleep all the time. I'm so tired. He's going through it, too. Are you sure there's a voice in your head, or do you just need sleep? <laughs> sure, try to sleep me off. See what happens, I dare you. Becky, you're tired too. I thought it was just me. Have you ever thought of burning this place down? I need to stop this once and for all. That's the only. There's only one way. I maybe I do just need to rest. Can I go home? You're, you're tired too. I thought I want to talk to Becky. I want to get more info on Becky. Honestly. Have you ever thought? What? That's what I said. Just every day I've worked here. But okay, so you. You really want to burn this place down? I have to. I need to more than anything. I know I don't want to. Okay. That yeah, crap. Yeah, I mean, I get it. I think I get it. If you burn this place down, that's it. You'll have to leave this town forever. He'll kill you. But you know that, right? Yeah, he would kill me. But at least the voice will stop. The voice has to stop. I haven't thought that far ahead. Are you sure? Becky stands in front of you for a long while, thinking. Okay, let's do it. He holds out her hand. You hand Becky the lighter. Becky flips the gas. What? You're about to burn this thing? What? She jumps into the store aisles, and as you start to pour the sickly sweet stench of gasoline, it makes your eyes water. Once the can is empty, the two of you lock eyes. Becky flips to Zippo. You nod, she drops the lighter. Flames lift their way up the chip stands. Why did the game just exit out like that? What the heck? Wait. Was that how it was supposed to end? Uh, it was so abruptly. Um. Was that was that supposed to happen? The game just exit out of itself. 
It just exit out. That's kind of scared me. Should I check? Let me check. Let me just go through there really quickly and see if there's anything else. Let's see. Let's see what he... Bro, I have like five rubber bands. Yeah, sure, bro. But this time I'm gonna check and see what you're doing in that bathroom. That's for sure. What is he like? You know, let's investigate this time. A glowing light eliminates through a crack in the bottom of the door. Knock. Don't knock. That's weird. Knock. You have to stay before giving the door three loud knocks. You hear in just a minute and they respond. And what's going on in there? Let's keep pushing. We can come this far. It's fine. Everything is fine. One more minute. Uh, okay. Kick the door out. <laughs> Get in here. Kick the door out. <laughs> you walk in on the man taking... Oh, wow. Everything appears normal. He says nothing. He just stares at you blankly, confused and alarmed. That man comes back from the bathroom and hands you the key. It is twisted beyond repair. He flashes you a can of beans and says, I'm taking this as he walks out the door. Hey, I don't think I can let you use the bathroom from now on. You always take forever and make weird noises. I know you're up to something in there. Whatever. What? You know, yeah, we're going to investigate the cat this time, okay? You weave through the store aisles. Everything looks to be in order, but when you reach the back of the room, you notice the bathroom door is ajoin. Weird, that should be closed. Step into the bathroom. Yeah, let's step into the bathroom. The door cracks open. You inspect this, the space. The lid to the toilet is down. Ugh, okay, wait, what? Uh, okay. Ew, no, you smack your palm against your head if you die. Uh, you gently flip up the lid of the toilet, revealing a light green swirling whirlpool. It mesmerizes you, leaning. Go on, laugh it up. No, no, no. Oh my goodness, we really are. I, I'm crazy. There's no coming back, bro. My freaking father traumatized me, and now I'm just like in this state. I am. I am really tired. Bro, I, I want to be back here at this point. No, I don't. Oh, Becky is my friend. Leave me alone. Becky is my friend. Leave me alone. Get out of here. Skedaddle. No, Becky did not say no things about me. I know I'm okay. I'm not Becky. I'm not Becky. I'm not freaking Becky. Stop it. Get out of here. He's building a time machine, bro. Becky must... Oh, this is different. Becky must be insane. This is clearly the tarot card she gave you. You would be better... You would be a better Becky than she ever was. What are you talking about? Becky snatches the card from your hand and holds it out to the woman. What the heck's up? I'm sorry, ma'am. Oh, yeah. Look at your stuff. You don't need a gas can and a lighter to work the register. Clearly, Becky doesn't know anything about working a register. <laughs> Seriously, what are you up to? Can I go home? Can you hear them? Yeah, I want to do this again. Wait, can I go home? Let's go home this time. I want to see what happens when we go home. You always give up this easy. You could have been rid of this place and Becky forever. But I don't like the look on your face. But I don't think you should finish your shift. Put the gas down and please get some rest. Do you have anything to crash? Anywhere to crash? I'm not sure your a-hole of a dad would be thrilled if you came home from your shift at his store early. No. You could maybe crash on my basis couch. Okay. Don't worry, I'll take great care of you. We'll be right back here tomorrow. And the next day. And the next day. And you'll be right back at this register holding that gas can again before you know it. And maybe Becky will be here to stop you. Maybe they won't be. Or maybe the help... Or maybe the help stroke the fire. You seriously played all the way through this and chose to go home. I mean, you had other choices, more interesting choices. I guess you're as boring as I thought. See you tomorrow. Okay, last time, I want to go through like the one, the route that I went through before. And I want to choose to, I'm not going to kill Becky. Like, I refuse to go through that playthrough. If you want to do that, that's fine. But I refuse to, like, kill Becky. Oh, wait. Oh, it's capitalized. I was like, why is it like that? Okay. But I refuse to kill Becky. Becky? I like Becky. I'm not killing Becky. What the heck? No. Okay, one more time. 
Like, dang, can you shut up? Like, like, how many days are you just here chilling? Don't you got better things to do? Like, I mean, my voice, like... Are you trying to give me a little bad friend of Becky? What's that? You're the only one making yourself look bad. Did you take something from her? I have this tarot card. What the heck, man? That's clearly her credit card. You're a lost cause, aren't you? This is exactly why your dad put me in charge of this place to keep you in line. Becky just snatches the card from your hand and hands it to the woman. I'm sorry, man. Hey, now Becky hates us. Bro, get out of here. I don't like you. I'm never gonna agree with you. Oh, it just fixed that option. More than anything. Okay, dang. Yeah, I mean, I get it. What? No, kill Becky. I I'll never stop until you do it. Burn it. Burn everything. Becky stands in front of you for a long while thinking. Okay, let's do it. She holds out her hand. You hand Becky the lighter. Wow. Oh. Once the can is empty, the two of you lock your eyes. Becky. Oh, okay. Flame licks their way up the chip stand. They wrap around popping and bo soda bottles. Smoke fills their store. You're mesmerized by it. Yes, beautiful, isn't it? Why don't you stay a while? So warm. I could just rest my eyes for a minute. I do love fire. Where would I go? Out there, this anyway. I might as well stay. No, we're gonna die in this fire. No, no, snap out of it, Sai. Becky grabs your hand and pulls you through the store door just before the flame reaches the counter. We hear the sirens in the distance. Becky rattles her keys and gestures to the old Ford pickup. Want to skip town, Becky? Yes. Yes, Becky, let's go. Let's get out of here. Wow, okay. I would say that was a pretty cool game. <laughs> I really like, like, just, like, the atmosphere and just, like, the art style and everything. This is so cool. I love it. Oh, my goodness. Clap. Applause to the creators. I like it. You have a great game here. And, like, honestly, I think I'll check and see if the creator have any more games. But other than that, that was the night shift. Um, it was super cool and fun playing this game with you all. I hope you all enjoyed and hopefully we'll see more from this creator. Wow, that was a great game. <laughs> I liked it. Hopefully Becky and Sly can be happy together and like get away from her abusive freaking dad and just like live life, you know, just get out of town. So like this place is tossing. They're both unhappy. Let's make each other happy, okay? Let's 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 skip Becky. We're out of here. Together forever. <laughs> but alrighty, I'll see you guys in the next video and bye bye <laughs> oh, wow the voices are crazy Fire.